All week, we've been following an exciting and historic discovery in Thornton. Construction crews unearthed the remains of a triceratops while working on the city's new police station. Paleontologists have been working around the clock to carefully remove those fossils. Well, now, for the first time, they'll be on display at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Stan Bush live at that museum for us tonight. And Stan, a lot of excitement about this huge find. Karen, tons of excitement. We're in the paleo lab at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. This is where all those bones from Thornton are going to be brought. And actually, here is one of the bones right now. This is apparently a neck bone to the triceratops. This is the vertebrae. And what researchers are doing is they're carefully removing the sediment away from this so that they can then study it. Now, researchers, they do have their hands full because once they've pulled out all the bones from the ground there, they may have a hard time finding out where to put them all. Paleontologists are already back in the lab examining the Thornton Triceratops after a day that left researchers stunned. Natalie Toth is a fossil preparer for the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. After leaving today, we have exposed more pieces of the skull, some of the frill. Um, there was a big, beautiful rib going right into kind of the main area where a lot of the bones are coming out. The dig team has uncovered bones from the dinosaur's nose to tail. The museum says it's likely the most complete Triceratops found in the area. It's a huge statement considering the first triceratops ever found was discovered in Denver 130 years ago. It's not like Jurassic Park where we're finding these big beautiful fossils that are all articulated and laid out in the ground in the you know perfect position in which they died. And so we are really fortunate that up in Thornton we're finding you know not just one or two fossils but we have multiple elements from this one individual. Construction crews on the new Thornton police and fire station are being heralded as heroes for stopping work in the area instead of plowing through the fossils. The museum hopes to finish the dig up in the next few days, but if new bones keep popping up, it could take longer. Usually when we are out in the field, we're working in really, really hard, well-consolidated muds and sands. Now, one of the best parts of this discovery is that visitors to the museum can come up to the prehistoric journey exhibit at the museum and they can see the fossils that were in the ground today. There has truly never been a better weekend to spend time at the museum. We're live tonight at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Stan Bush, CBS 4 News. Stan, incredible. I still can't believe this. I know, it is pretty awesome, isn't it?